One big thing. The purple is not an accident, and this has got to stop. Between Fife, Pearl, and now Prince, this just has to stop. In lieu of another full-on obit, let's try to do this a little differently because the day after reflecting on Pearl, I, I don't have the mental energy to even try to do justice to one of the most iconic artists of our time. Prince was my favorite musician, and it is clear I have a whole lot of coverage. As was the case with David Bowie, if you were to ask 10 Prince fans their favorite song, I bet you get eight, nine, maybe 10 different answers. His catalog was that deep and that good. But let's keep this breezy and try to tie it to sports because the Purple Yoda from Minnesota loved some sports. He was courtside this year watching Golden State with the Scepter. He was at the French Open in 2014 with the Scepter. I could keep going just to show outfits, but let's segue to game blouses. Because Prince could play basketball, played the game growing up, and the story of him schooling Eddie and Charlie Murphy became legendary thanks to another icon, Dave Chappelle. But what he was, was a peerless musician and an astonishing live performer. The link to sports, frankly, is just an excuse to show the best halftime show in the history of the Super Bowl. Prince, the Florida a and band, and a downpour. Go on ahead and say. And finally, his greatest walk-off at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame after absolutely obliterating every other superstar he shared the stage with during the guitar solo of While My Guitar Gently Weeps, and we'd play the entire solo if we had the rights to music, Prince just chucks his guitar, and he's out. I'll see y'all later. None of us will be as badass doing anything in our entire lives. At his shows, the encores were endless, which makes this so profoundly lousy. No more music. And I don't even know what to say about that.